Um, this one has a pale kind of epidermis, so it makes me think of like mucosal surface. Good, mucosa, yes. So let's say vulva. Okay. And then um, this one has pseudo hyphae in the stratum cornea. Some of which they're really hard to see, but they're running north to south. Yep, up and down, right? Kind of vertical. Good. Here's here's some right here. There's a there's a hypha or pseudo hypha. How do you know if it's a true hypha or a pseudo hypha? I don't know. There is no answer. I'll tell you the answer I use. If I want it to be candida, then I say, oh, it's a pseudo hyphae. There are pseudo hyphae there. If I want it to be something else, I say, oh, they're true hyphae. That's the honest truth. I do not think morphologically that the, the hyphal structure itself um, is different or that I can tell, oh, it's a pseudo, pseudo hyphae rather than true hyphae. And I actually found out not long ago uh, from reading in the literature that you can actually, candida can actually produce true hyphae in addition to pseudo hyphae. Some mycologists will have to explain to me how you actually make that distinction, like what the technical definition is. But I feel like on light microscopy, I cannot recognize the difference between those. I can, however, think of some clues for candidiasis. One, like you said, is the hyphae tend, doesn't always work, but they tend to be vertical north and south. They dive down into the epidermis, whereas dermatophytes kind of surf along the waves, okay? And <clears throat> you also, one other thing that really helps me is when I see the hyphae here also, sometimes you can see them actually pierce into the viable portion of the, the superficial stratum spinosum, okay? And that it, actually on cytology, like from cervical um, cytology, like a pap, when you see candida there, you tend to see candida like kind of skewering and, and stabbing through multiple keratinocytes. And I think this is kind of analogous to that. I feel like you do not usually see dermatophyte fungus grow down like this, whereas candida, sometimes you will see it, but not always, okay? The main thing I have trouble telling is or, I'm sorry, the one other thing that's helpful is that candida has both yeast and hyphae or pseudo hyphae, right? So you'll see elongated hyphal or hypha like structures plus yeast, okay? Yeast forms. And the other thing that can do that though, dermatophyte does not make yeast, right? It's not a it's not a dimorphic fungus that makes yeast. It's not a yeast. It does sometimes have little round structures, spores or canidia, but you don't see that. I've never seen that at least in dermatophyte on the skin surface. You see that like in endothrix and ectothrix type um, dermatophytosis. But the other thing that can give you hyphae and yeast <clears throat> is going to be tinea versicolor, right? Uh, Malassezia or pitosporum. And the other clue I like for both both for Malassezia and Candida is they're usually bluish purple and easily visible on an H&E stain without even needing to do a fungal stain. Whereas I showed you earlier, dermatophytes usually, at least in, in the H&E preparations I've used in the labs I've worked in, they're usually clear. I have seen some that were bluish dermatophytes, but most of the time dermatophytes to me look almost totally invisible and clear. You just see the little clear spaces they leave, whereas I can almost always easily see on H&E candida and dermatophytes. So then, I'm sorry, and uh, excuse me, candida and malassezia, tinea versicolor. To me, the biggest distinction is where are we on the body? If we're on the vulva or the lip and I see hyphae or pseudo hyphae plus yeast and they're bluish purple, then it's going to be candida, right? If we're on like the mid back or the chest dry skin, then it's almost certainly not going to be candida. It's going to be tinea versicolor. If I'm really not sure, I say that there's fungal organisms and that you know, it could be this, but, you know, it could be candida, but, you know, dermatophyte or malassezia would enter the differential. And if, you know, that way, you know, make sure you treat it with something like, you know, ketoconazole or one of the, one of the drugs that will cover broadly um, the fungus rather than like nystatin, uh, which will just, you know, cover candida, but not cover um, dermatophyte fungus, right? So if I have any doubt, I'll, I'll just say there's superficial fungi, and then I'll tell you which one I favor. Um, but in any case, those are some clues and tips um, to telling those apart. And I do have one really nice example of beautiful vertical diving in Canada that I saw not too long ago. Look at that. There, this was a vulva and you can see perfect north-south vertical purple fungal hyphae in the corneum and look, some yeast also. So this is a really nice example of candidiasis. I, I'm very, very happy with that picture, I have to tell you. I've been looking for that good of an example for years and I finally found one. All right.